There's a town on the Humber named after a Viking called Grimm, once the busiest fishing port in the world, now harvesting wind out at sea. But onshore, the seat of Great Grimsby is at a crossroads, a blue brick in the red wall that Labour wants back this election year. We'll be here throughout, listening to what people think. We start with a story on the eve of the budget about the people's finances. Everybody's struggling. How can we even afford to breathe anymore? Perhaps a revolution is the only thing that's, that's required. The rows of old shoes in here are getting longer, each waiting to be repaired. You get a lot of people now who, who are digging out old shoes or they're buying them from charity shops and they might be 20, 30 or 40 years old, these shoes, you know, and we're renovating them. It is a, it is a reflection. And uh, some of the things I do to, to shoes, I just think they're not worth it, but they, they insist that I do them. But uh, that's where we're at. <laughs> There's no price list in the cobbler's shop because the cost of everything keeps going up. I mean, there's, there's, there's a divide which is as big as it's ever been. We've got a group with shed loads of money and you've got people with nothing, you know, scraping pennies. And it, it's, it's frustrating. With their community struggling so much to budget, they do what they can to help out. Where there's a will, there's a way, and everyone tries their hardest. Everybody looks, that's the one thing I notice here. Is everybody seems to look after each other as best they can. Like, say, we do you get elderly customers and think, oh, just give us a couple of quid or whatever. But it's the only way you can. It's the only way people can manage. Suzanne can repair almost anything, but has lost faith in what she sees as a broken political system. It's like they've took the heart out, haven't they? They'll just take the heart out of the whole country and just say, no, you know, like as if we don't need it somehow. But what of the future here? Much needed investment is promised in Grimsby. In the last specialist children's shoe shop in town, we met Willow and her mum, Katie. It almost feels like a privilege, that, you know, a new pair of shoes. It shouldn't feel like a luxury, should it? She'd love to be back at work. But right now, she can't put Willow into nursery. Despite government attempts to fix childcare, Katie still can't afford it. I wish she could have had that opportunity, but financially I'm not in that position to pay. I can't pay nursery fees. You know, I, I don't have that money. It's not a choice. Her mum, Karen, wants to be helping more with Willow, but she can't afford to retire or even cut back her hours. To say she's hacked off with politicians is an understatement. In all honesty, I think people have given up listening to what they say because they say one thing and do another. They're not really, they're not in the same position. They've never lived in our shoes. What would you want to see the government doing for you and for this town? Um, to have more spare money, in, especially uh, tax out of my wages and, and things, to have more spare money... Uh, not, not to go out, but to be able to live. From people we've spoken to here, it's clear they long to get Grimsby back on its feet, to close the divide and afford to live again. Whatever politicians say, that hasn't happened yet. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Grimsby.